Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. Today's Windows 10 tutorial is going to cover a concept that we've already done in another video, and that was how to make desktop shortcuts in Windows 10. Now, that video being over a year old now, I uh, just happened to come across a little bit of an easier way for those of you wanting more of the Windows 7 feel. Now, this way isn't perfect, but especially when you first start out with Windows 10, you're wanting to get all your desktop shortcuts lined up and set, this is going to be the best way to do it, it seems like. Now, what we're going to start out doing is going down to the bottom left-hand corner where your Windows icon is, where your Start button would be, and we're going to right-click this. Now, right-clicking brings up all, I guess you could say, the Power User features, and the one we're wanting to go to is the one that says Command Prompt Admin, and this is your administrative command prompt. So, left-click on that, and it'll ask you if you want to allow it to make changes and hit yes. And yours will look a little bit different depending on whether you're running the Windows PowerShell or just the old command prompt. And the font will probably be a lot smaller, a lot different color. I've got it a little bit bigger and changed up for the video. But from right here, we're going to do a very simple command that's going to bring us to a place that's a lot easier to make shortcuts. And that command is just you typing in on your keyboard the word explorer space shell colon apps folder and if you'll notice there's only a space between explorer and shell and everything else is together I'm not quite sure if you have to have the capital A capital F that's just the way I'm putting it here and once you've got that in there hit your enter key and you'll be taken to this. This is your Applications folder on Windows 10. It's a very hidden folder, and the command prompt seems like it's the easiest way to get to it. Now, the big thing here is Windows 10 is a combination of the modern apps, what they used to call Metro apps. Now they also call Windows apps. These are the apps that you can actually you know, download from the Windows Store as well as also having in this folder the Windows desktop apps. And those are different because they're apps that can only be uh, ran on a desktop PC or laptop PC rather than multiple Windows devices. So you'll see both sets of apps in here. Now the great thing is this should contain everything that you've got installed as far as apps. Now if you remember a Windows 7 you used to be able to right click and just uh, send a desktop to the shortcut or excuse me send a desktop a shortcut to the desktop now on this one you can right click create shortcut and it's going to give us an error it'll say that windows can't create a shortcut here do you want it on the desktop instead and we'll go ahead and hit yes and let me get this a little smaller here and you'll notice there it is and this can be done for any of the apps you have. Like here I have my 7-zip. Right click, create shortcut, and hit yes. And instantaneously. Now I know having to go to this right here, this command prompt, is a little bit of a task. But compared to some of the other methods, this seems to be the easiest one. And the fastest way to get everything on your desktop that you want. If you'll notice there's even control panel get a shortcut everything's quick and easy this way so if you want quick access to it you can always copy this down in a notepad just for quick reference type in notepad and if I can get it highlight that and right click it and then paste you can save this as a document you know um, We'll just call it apps folder and save it where you want. Save it in your documents folder. And you'll have something to copy and paste next time you go to that command prompt or want to go into that menu. But guys, this is what I've seen as the fastest, easiest way, closest we're going to get to Windows 7 without uh, installing Classic Shell, which kind of goes a little deep into the operating system, and I'd rather not mess with that too much. But as always, thanks for watching. If the video helped any, give me a like and subscribe. And chive on.